Academy Stats, Year 6, Unit 5, Getting Around, Lesson 1, Reading, Page 60 to 61. Lesson Objective, Read a Science Fiction Story, Reading Skill. Identify the main themes of a story, vocabulary, backwards, forwards, hub, lift, lifted, old-fashioned, paddled, paddled, polluted, skyscraper, virtual, workshop. Warmer, spelling. Spell the words, write it on a piece of paper. Number one, university, university, university. Number two, gardening, gardening, gardening. Number three, energetic, energetic, energetic. Come, let's check our answer. University, gardening, energetic. Look at the pictures. What type of story do you think it is? Why? It's a science fiction story. What do you think happens in the story? Read the text quickly and check your ideas. Track 1.22 Unit 5 Lesson 1 Activity 2 A trip to remember Abby was playing a virtual tennis game on her tablet. Why don't you go and play tennis outside? suggested Grandma. Why would I go outside? replied Abby. Virtual tennis is just as good as real tennis. Ha! said Grandma. I prefer playing tennis outside. Fresh air is important and we won't have it forever. Oh, Grandma! laughed Abby. Of course we will! The next day was Abby's birthday. She ran outside to Grandma's workshop. It was full of wonderful inventions. A flying trumpet, a musical pen and a robot window cleaner. Happy birthday, said Grandma as she hugged Abby. Wait there and I'll get your present. Be careful though. Remember not to touch anything. Abby looked around the workshop at all the new inventions. Then she noticed an old sheet in the corner. She lifted the sheet and found an old-fashioned purple bike underneath it. Hmm, this bike isn't as interesting as Grandma's other inventions, she thought. She got on the bike and started to pedal forwards. Suddenly, Abby and the bike were lifted into the air. Abby opened her eyes and realised that she was in the town centre, but everything looked different. All around her, there were tall glass skyscrapers with flying cars whizzing past. Oh my goodness! I'm in the future! she exclaimed, looking at the old bike in surprise. Then she noticed a robot cleaning the street nearby. Where is all the grass? Where are all the trees? she asked the robot. What is grass? asked the robot. What are trees? Abby looked around. The sky was grey and the air felt polluted. She couldn't see any birds or animals anywhere. In fact, the streets were empty. Why weren't there any children playing outside? I don't like it here, she said unhappily. I want to go home. Abby knew what she had to do. She jumped onto the bike and pedalled backwards. Abby opened her eyes and saw that she was back in Grandma's workshop. There you are, said Grandma. I was looking for you. Abby got off the bike and hugged her Grandma. Here's your present, said Grandma. Abby opened it. It was a new time travel game for her tablet. 
Thanks, Grandma," said Abby. "It's fantastic. I can't wait to play it later. But first, can we go outside and play tennis?" Grandma smiled. "Of course we can. Real tennis is just as good as virtual tennis," she said, laughing. Look at the vocabulary panel on page sixteen. Find the words in the text. Use the context to work out what they mean. Backwards, adverb. Towards the direction that is behind you. We move backwards to get away from the flames. Forwards, adverb. Towards the direction that is in front of you. The bus moves forwards when the traffic light went green. Hug, hug, verb. To put your arms round someone to show love or friendship. Layla hugged her mom to thank her for the lovely present. Lift, lifted, verb. To move something to a higher position, I lifted the heavy box and put it on the table. Or, fashion, adjective, not modern, typical of a time in the past. The furniture is very old-fashioned. I prefer modern houses. Pedal, pedal, verb. To move a bike by moving the pedals with your feet. The boys pedal up the hill on their bikes. Polluted, adjective. Dirty or dangerous for people to use, usually air or water. There's a lot of traffic in this city, so the air is very polluted. Skyscraper noun, a very tall modern building, usually containing flats or offices. The view from the top of the skyscraper is amazing. Virtual adjective, something on a computer screen that's not real but looks real. I'm exploring an exciting virtual city in on my tablet. Workshop noun, a place where things are made or repaired. My aunt has a workshop downstairs where she makes jewelry. Underline the main theme of the story. It's important to play outdoors as well as indoors. Cooler, better in real life. What activities that are better to do in real life than in virtual? Why? Swimming because we get to play in the pool. Going to a party, we get to meet new friends and eat delicious food. Thanks for watching. Do click like and subscribe for more videos.